Next, let's talk about the guy that most people want to talk about, uh, which is which is Arch Manning. So we're, we'll, we'll dive into a little bit of Arch Manning here, and we'll watch some of his film. This clip is a little strange. They do sort of like a, um, in, uh, a cut up. They'll show tight and wide. First thing you see, tall kid, tall, skinny quarterback, nice frame, quick release. The first thing, you, I think one of the early things I saw about Arch is you know, he doesn't have a real powerful arm but neither did his uncle Peyton. I mean, he's, he's, you can see that ball kind of hangs up a little bit. The ball doesn't really explode out of his hand the way it does some of these other quarterbacks on this board, as you're going to see. What you're going to see from Arch, however, is a kid that's really smart, kid that understands ball placement. There's still work to be done, but he is just a sophomore. His eyes are always working. You can see him in, in, in game film where he's working through progressions. He's making pre-snap calls. You can see him going through it here, gets on the move, throws. He's a he's a pretty good athlete. He's not a runner, but he can he can move around. He can he's a little bit like Eli in that regards. And obviously, I'm referring to his uncles. There's a really gritty throw. I love the vision there. I love the vision there. But look, you know, I think I think part of the Arch Manning obsession is is the name and and just the the, D, the DNA and the genes. But I think that maybe gets him a little bit more hype. Then, then maybe he he should be getting, but make no mistake, he's a very talented quarterback. He's also kind of got the frame that you just you just see him. He's going to fill out his arm is going to his arm is going to get stronger. You're going to see the ball jump out a little bit. And you see how quickly he gets the ball out on that last clip. You know, eyes downfield, find the guys, and and that's a that's a tough throw right there to make. That that requires a, again a lot of talent. Get to some more of these throws. Yeah, these are like I said, these are two two angles of the same play. I tried to find some that weren't that way, but to to no avail. That's good touch there. I mean, you can just watch him kind of going back and forth, making full field reads, trying to find open guys, good ball placement. And he's a talented quarterback. I mean, even if his name was Arch. You know, Arch Jones, and he wasn't related to, you know, three, four, you know, obviously a grandpa and then two uncles who were who were tremendous quarterbacks. He'd still be considered, in my opinion, a top 50 quarterback. He's a very, very good player. Very good player. Let's watch a couple, a couple here. Kenny, that's a great comment. The Statue of Liberty moves better than Peyton. Very true. That's why I say he's he reminds me his his throwing motion is a little bit like Peyton's. Uh, you know, just kind of from the ear, quick. But he's he's a he's more athletic than uh, he's he's athletically he's more like Eli was. I mean, remember his dad was a wide receiver. His dad was not a quarterback. His dad was a wide receiver to Ole Miss. Again, you see the footwork there. Again, he's not an athlete. He's not going to be running a whole lot, but but he can move. I mean, he can avoid the pressure. He can avoid the rush. Throw the ball well on the run. Team going through his progressions, nice. Get the ball out quickly. But I mean, when I watch these two kids on film right now, I, I think Dante Moore is the better player. I, I do. I, you know, I, I think he's got the better physical tools. He's the better athlete. He's got the stronger arm. He's got every bit the quickness. I think he's the intelligence is on the same level. You know, just to me, he's a better player. This is you'll never see you know Peyton doing something like that. So again, you know. I, I've heard that Arch wants to visit Notre Dame. I've seen it reported that he wants to visit Notre Dame. Uh, so we're going to talk about him. But at the end of the day, I don't see him being a guy that's 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 Notre Dame's going to be a major player for. And I, I understand, I understand where Notre Dame is coming from. You know, he's a top quarterback that's willing to talk and willing to listen, and you talk to him. But the, the thing you have to really think about if you're if you're Tommy Reese and you're you're Brian Kelly and you're you're thinking about quarterback recruiting is like look could we pull off the upset if we put everything into it maybe but is it really worth the investment especially when it's such a loaded quarterback year I personally would recruit him but he would not be one of the three or four guys that I recruit the hardest that's just my my personal opinion so that's Arch Manning if you've never seen Arch Manning before now you 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 know a lot of that stuff is probably going to look familiar to you you'll you're gonna like uh, you're gonna like what you see. Very accurate, smart quarterback. Now the next.